Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Eric Nelson. Today, again, we're covering some more information off of our basic First Stripe curriculum. We're going to talk about crossbody in this video and mostly just points of control. And remember, a lot of times we talk about working with the four quadrants. So what I mean by quadrants is if you're to divide the body up and align this way and align this way, everything from your hip, your thigh, your knee, your calf, your foot, is all one quadrant, two quadrants, up, around through the body, out through here is one, and one here. So we have four basic quadrants. So in every position, we wanna to try to be active with all four quadrants doing something to support a frame, looking for a grip, looking for that hidden force on the mat, <clears throat> something to help us advance the position and look for better control, better defense, setting up, moving towards a attack position. So if you could lay down this way, please head towards the camera there. All right. So the first basic crossbody control we're going to look at is the most common one that we use, which is a, kind of a, like a seatbelt control where my arms are diagonal across the body. My near side arm is checking the hip. My far side arm is elbow down on the mat. Now, this is just kind of the basic upper body control here. I want to make sure that I don't go too far over. I want to bring back with my chest. So it's about the center of my chest is on line with the center of his chest. I always like when I'm trying to put the best amount of pressure on him to have one leg where is bent and driving into the mat to put power. And again, that can be either side. You can switch it up and I recommend practicing and being comfortable changing that position and working here. Now on the bottom, this is very important for him because let's turn this way on this one, please. So when I go to cross body position, how he is on the bottom, he doesn't want to just lay flat on his back. He's got to be using all four quadrants as well, just like I am. So for him to have the best defensive position on the bottom, this foot is going to be out at a 45 degree angle, toes pointing in. Now he can push into the mat with this leg, which helps give power to the shoulder. In this position, now if I push here, he's got strength because of this leg. If he moves this foot in here, there's nothing supporting that and it's easy to push the shoulder down. So that's number one. We've got this one here. Number two, this hand, when I come in to, give me a little space here. When I come in to check the hip, he wants to use this hand to start attacking this arm. And he's, when he gets the grip here, he can push the arm, he can pull the arm. And as he's doing this, attacking my upper arm or my elbow area, his knee on this side or his other quadrant from his, the lower part of his body is attacking my forearm and wrist. So he's trying to give my arm trouble when I'm in this position, because he's working on trying to go into his guard passes. This side for him, if my hips are close, he's using this bone right here in his upper arm to put his elbow in the pocket of my hip here. It's important for this one. He wants to be on this side, stopping my hips from coming down. He doesn't want to be across here, because this can be dangerous for his elbow if he gets too far in on this side. So he's got this, he's got this, and he's got this leg for support, and this leg is attacking my, my forearm. So in this position, on the bottom is, is very important. So a good drill you guys can play, come back over here a little bit, is I like with newer students is just to start like here, and when I say go, I come into position, I get my control, I've got one foot up, I'm driving into the mat, and he's got all four points of control, actively pressure, pushing into the mat, tacking the arm and checking the hip. So we go back, go back. And we'll play that, do 20, 30, 40 reps. Get, get some time in on it and get comfortable with it. Because later when we start changing positions, the most important thing is learning how to get where you wanna be, whether you're in the bottom defense or top defense, within the transition. If you can get there before you get there, you're that much ahead. So that's number one. Number two is uh, a basic what we call wrestler pin. 
And on this one, we, well, there's really two variations here. We got the head and arm version and the across the body version. So across the body version, this time often I'm using my knees to control the, the hip and the shoulder and my elbows to bring his body into me. And I'm kind of like squeezing him almost like I'm doing an ab crunch, controlling the body here. And this is good for like attacking this arm. A lot of times I prefer to have one leg out again, driving here, but you can play around with kind of both variations. Again, this is a cross body, both elbows in, tuck from here. The last one we're going to look at is the head and arm position. And we'll do this a couple different ways. Sometimes uh, uh, when you come around here, part of the control from this position is with the underhook and I'm anchoring down here. Other part is I'm using my shoulder to turn his face because he wants to be up on the side coming into me looking so he has the opportunity to maybe oop and roll or elbow escape or whatever he's doing to try to get the pass. But if I've got his head turned, try to turn the side, mm -mm. yeah. So he's kind of stuck in that position. Both of these controls, these second two controls are okay. This one, I'm not as big of a fan of just because there's not as many attacks from here, but sometimes it's a good transitionary control to get to a different position. And I think it's a very valid move and that's why it's in the curriculum. But just keep that in mind when your arms around the neck here, you're limited as far as what you can do. And now when I pull it out, I can start attacking the neck. I can attack the arm. I can work on the near side arm, whatever there is. So you just have a few more options there. So a, a cross body game I like to play sometimes is we'll get into our position and I'll try to, we'll say like go. And his job is not to maybe so much pass, but to bump and move and roll around. And I'm going to try to stay on top and just kind of flow work my controls and use my arms as little as possible. So I'm using my hips and my angle of my feet, changing like a clock. So sometimes I might be here, sometimes I might be sitting out a little bit, maybe I run to north south, or I come back in here and we're playing this kind of body position control and I'm using my weight and my torso to control him more so than my arms and my strength. That'll free you up later when you start getting more attacks and kind of how to um, be a little bit more aggressive and putting combinations together if you have that ability to do that. So these are the three basic controls from crossbody. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video.